Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, Bapak Ibu, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Indah Permata Suryani. I'm going to be present uh, my research about the implementation of cash pass method. So the title of this research about the implementation of cash pass method in advanced financial accounting one subject, and um, it has been uh, run by me. Um, and Buhusna and Pajon Har as a team teaching. So I will start from introduction. Um, at Fun Financial Accounting One courses, it's actually compulsory courses that has been offered in fifth semester, consists of three credits in accounting study program, faculty of economy. So the courses is actually mandatory course um, in the fifth semester and the prerequisite subject is intermediate accounting. So um, in previous semester, uh, the courses was implemented by using teacher center learning so where student put all the focus on the teachers the teacher put kind of the tutorial for the students so lecture actively talk and student exclusively listen so the problem that arises this method is although um there are several methods that has been implemented before for example like the student group discussion has been built and then uh student have um the chance to present uh, the material sometimes and also about the, the problem uh, that has been given. But when there is a situation uh, comes into discussion and lectures ask uh, about the more detail about the calculation that has been presenting, there is mm, kind of a lack of um, knowledge in that. So uh, it indicate that probably the task is not completely done by all of the um, team member. So what is uh, the method? What is this, how to solve the problem? So CASPAS method has been introduced uh, as a type of participatory discussion best way in order to encourage students in gaining skills by critical thinking. So in CASPAS method, they're kind of um, um, uh, intensively communication happened by giving the case study analysis to the student. So it kind of the, strategy that invites students to taking their role in the real situation. So um, in the certain condition, there are a real and case analysis segment given to the student. Um, but before it's just focused on the calculation, but now it more focus on um, the critical thinking. There is a question presenting in analytical um, a way, for example, in um, solving the research and also the discussion in there and then there are questions that has been need to be answered the objective to evaluate implementation of course and the method here um, we conducted the Kurt Levin model consists of planning implementation and evaluation so planning started with discussing semester learning plan and um, before the semester started between the team teaching of at fund financial accounting one um, so we arranged the uh, um, semester learning plan by uh, designing in which meeting the case analysis will be given to the student and then how to arrange the presentation uh, for the group study. Implementation of course in this semester, uh, I think it started around October I guess, yeah, uh, yeah and then um, started on September and then just uh, finished the midterm exam. So implemented uh, to um, 23 students. And the implementation here um, is also carried out with the evaluation of the method, like the student perception of this method and also distribution of the assignment score um, and learning outcome achievement. Uh, but fortunately, because it has been run to nearly half of the semester. So um, the results probably not really complete and full. But in terms of the student perception, um, um, in my method, and I think it will be effective in effective way because we know that the students have the different um, perspective and also a, a different interest. So put the rewards and punishment, I think it would be um, better in here. And if there is participation from students, so with this a reward kind of the remark for them. And uh, assignment also given, um, I think it's about one of two, wait. 
here, resolve discussion, top of the question. So it will be improve the student logic and critical thinking. So it just temporary result until now on. So the areas of presentation also have been implemented for the student. So what we come now for a conclusion, actually um, based on this method, today a uh, student was really enjoy uh, for the CASPAS method because they, because we hear they, we listen their opinion. So they can give the point of view about the certain cases and the lectures also, I think it's really good. It's not also, it's not only focus on the student, but on also um, focus on how the lectures can uh, plan and improve the creativity of the lectures as a facilitator to facilitate the case study and also uh, support it with the current issue nowadays. So. Uh, that's all for me um, about the implementation of CASPAS method in advanced financial courses. So I think this is uh, kind of the method that um, bring the positive impact for the student and also the lectures. So I hope that this method can be implemented um, to uh, the next semester and in another kind of the subject and accounting study program. And thank you very much, Baba and Ibu, for your attention. So I hope this research will be um, useful and it contribute. And also thank you for Abadiga and for arranging this um, event. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.